Hello, Sales Nation. I am Will Barron, host of the Salesman Podcast. And today's question is, with all the content that is out there available on the internet, why would a prospect care if you give them a report or other piece of content to try and add value to them? Take it away, John. Yeah, so um, for the most part, they don't. Um, I, <laughs> but I think it, that's why I think social to me is way more about quality than quantity. Um, and being very thoughtful with the outreach based on what you know about them or based on a previous conversation. So if you're just going to say, oh, this, you know, that's why the challenger sale, I, I disagree a little bit with the challenger sale in the sense that the challenger talks about lead with insights, lead with insights. But the challenger sale talks about always bringing that insight back to you, right? So, hey, here's a report that came out there and this is how we can help you on that. I disagree. I think you can actually share a piece of content with somebody that doesn't necessarily always have to tie in back to you, but but put your context around it to get them to think a little bit different. And so that's where I, I think the, the people that filter the information the best are the ones that people are going to pay attention to the most. Um, so, But unfortunately, the way that most reps do it, they tend to almost treat it like spam. You know what I mean? Like, hey, here's a really good report. That's what, here's an example. Drives me batshit crazy when reps say, you know, what I see on Twitter or something like, hey, really great 39 page ebook here. You know how many 39 page ebooks I have in my things to read folder that I'll never get to. But you know, if you were to take the time and say, hey, really good 39 page ebook here. If you're a VP of sales in the SaaS industry trying to figure out how to implement social selling into your process, um, take a look at pages eight through 12 right there because that's where the meat is. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's where I start to care. That's where I start to look at you and and making sure that you're not always saying, let me talk to you. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I want to sell you on this. It's like, no, I, I just thought you might. As a, One more example. Funding. I, I've given up on using funding as a reason to reach out to people because God help that per, poor person that's on that list as soon as it hits crunch base, right? It's like that person's going to get a billion emails from sales reps saying, oh, let me just show you this, right? Whatever. Let me show you how you can spend that money. So, but what I do do is I use that to, to, to let you know I'm paying attention to you. So I'll say, hey, you know what? Just saw you guys got 30, you know, if I've nurtured you and I'm trying to come at you and I see you get funding, I'm not going to say, hey, let me show you how to spend that money. I'm going to say, hey, you know, congrats on that funding. Hopefully that means something good for you personally and professionally. Hope things are well, whatever. Here you go. And so I think that, that why would they care? They're not until you earn it. You got to earn it. I mean, that, that's the key there is that you got to be as that thoughtful enough to have them look at you and say, well, shit, that was actually pretty damn valuable. So maybe, just maybe, I'm going to start to look at you differently and care. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, give us a like or a thumbs up. If you want to watch the full interview on the Sales of Podcast, click this video right here. And if you want your sales question answered, just leave a comment in the box below.